is shining, the sheep is bleating, and we're on to episode 13 of our van build. And this week we're going to install our composting toilet, Ooh. do some work on some cabinets, and possibly test the plumbing. So stay tuned and see how that goes. Putting up the cabinet on the side. As usual, when I bring the camera out, everything goes wrong. Get the camera away from it. It's not going in the right spot. It's not going in the hole. You can't see. I can, I can see, but it's definitely not going in the hole. It's got the hole now. So we have another cabinet in. The mic's filled up in the back there. It's just finishing off the end bit there. It's an absolutely stunning day and we're stuck at home because we're in lockdown. But anyway, we'd be here anyway because we're... <laughs> we're bleating like a lamb. <laughs> because we've got a van to build. But anyway, we're going to take you through our composting toilet we've bought. So the composting toilet is a separating toilet. Mike's going to show you quickly how it works. Both men and women have to sit down to use it. And the weed goes down to the front here and into the weed bottle. Yeah. You poo down into the bucket. Okay, yep. You might be thinking that's going to be disgusting having all your poo floating around down in there. But what you do is you add some of this stuff in the bottom and you can also use um, peat moss. And then when you go, there's a little handle on the side here. You turn the handle there and that mixes the poo with the compost or coconut coir. And you also have this hose that actually just attaches there. And there's a fan in there which draws the, blows the air out and that goes down through. It goes out, out and out. We've got it going out to the outside. So it's going to take all the smell outside and as well as that it's going to keep it all dry in there. So what you have to do, you have to sit down to go. When you need poo, you just turn this, you just turn this little lever. Lever. Lever there. Turn the lever. Oh yep, you poo. You close it back up close again. Close it back up. Yep. And if you need to wee, you wee in this little front bit here. So your wee will run down into this little holding tank. Now you can either keep that holding tank and empty that every few days, but what we're going to do, we're going to plumb it into our waste tank. To do that, take that up, take that out. There's actually three screws holding that in. Just remove the screws and it just comes away. I've got a bit of tubing and that will just sit up on there and that can then go down into our shower outlet. <laughs> it's like an elephant with a trunk. I was thinking of something else, but that's fine. <laughs> if I just lock that up a minute. Carry it over here. Oops. This is where we're going to install it into our shower. Enough room for that to open up there. I'll go there like that. And then this piece will just go down into our shower outlet, which I know it needs to be needs to be cut off. It's going to be cut off at floor level, so that'll be it. Then our pee will go down here, down there, and into our grey tank, so we don't have to empty it all the time. That's exciting, Mike. That's really awesome. So sit on it and make sure you're happy with that. Where it's going to go? Well, it's got to put clamps in it. Right. Yeah, I've got to clamp it down. Ooh. Oh, yeah, plenty of room for you. I'm not going to use it on camera though. These are the brackets to hold the toilet in place. Toilet in, and this is how his little hose that that's going to be cut it's off at cut floor, off level. floor level. But but yeah, it's going to go in. It's going to poke his hose in. Yeah. And then when you pee, it's going to dribble down there and down there and down into our waste tank. Then we just have to empty it at a dump station. Look at that. So what's happening today? Plumbing again. At this side time, it's the waste side, not the water side. I've got to drill a hole down through there for the sink because the sink's going to come in here. Down underneath here, which is going to be where our sink is going to be, I've drilled a hole and put a 32mm pipe down through. And then in the shower, made another hole in there and put a 32mm pipe through. For the shower outlet, it's got to be cut down to the floor level. There's also going to be the toilet, the pee side of the toilet. And I'm going to show you what I've done underneath. So underneath here we've got the waste pipe from this sink. So for the kitchen area coming out through the floor, then through a poly tube into a tea piece. And there's the piece from the shower. Comes into the other junction's tea piece. And out through an EvoFlow uh, trap. Um, and there's a bit like a bit of plastic and the water goes through and it self-seals and it carries on out over there. The other side 
to the waste tank and that's it hopefully this is going to be the missing link yay the missing link this we've been waiting for to finish off our plumbing yeah the link installed circuit complete next thing i suppose is to test it so i've got this old tap from an old renovation job that mike's gonna put in oh. we're hoping it works right so what we're doing now is the plumbing oh wow. the missing link is in oh. i'm gonna temporarily put the taps on possibly in a bucket of water <gasps> just in case they leak you're gonna try it out and then i'm gonna have to put some water into the tank connect at the pump and test to see whether we've got any leaks <laughs> because we've got to do that before i put the wall of the shower up because if i put the wall of the shower up it'd be too late <laughs> it's exciting it's all happening If it leaks, it leaks into the bucket. So I need to put some water into the tank. Okay. So Mike's going to fill up this, okay. so I'll hold it. It's all spurting out at me. I'm not supposed to be doing that. Oops. I don't know if it's supposed to be spurting out like this. Okay, so it's not supposed to be doing that. We haven't actually tried this before. So Mike's trying to fill up again. He's removed the breather hose in case there's a kink in it. So far. Yeah, it sounds like it's filling up now. So that's good. That's a pretty simple fix. The water gauge is working. Nothing showing there. Mm. Have you got the power on? Yeah. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, you have to push it then? Oh, that's weird. Quarter full. All right. It wasn't shining green before though, was it? No, 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 it's now just gone up to that. Oh, yeah. Now Mike's going to test his plumbing, which oh, is a little God, bit no. terrifying. You want to turn the lights on? Okay. Have you got a quick stop system? Yeah, just take the fuse out. Okay, right. right. Oh, oh, the pump's going. Oh. Ooh, there's water there. Oh, hang on. What's that around here? Oh, stop, stop, stop. Come out there, come out there. Out which one? Down the bottom. It's right, so the blue one. All right. It's pissing out. Yeah, all right, just... Okay, I'm just saying. So what was the actual problem, Mike? It was just leaking, was it? Leaking. I hadn't pushed them in properly. Well, let's put a stop to today's plumbing, to finishing the plumbing today, because the pump's leaking. So Mike slogged a problem with the people we bought it off, and they're gonna get back to us, but we might need a replacement pump. That's it for today's video. We're just gonna leave it there. We wanted to get something finished, but... Yeah, just got to wait for feedback uh, about the pump. Yeah, so until next time. Stay safe. Have fun. And enjoy yourself.